Okay, sushi is more popular than ever, and it's really not that complicated to make. We're going to show you a simple nori maki. Nori means the seaweed, and maki simply means rolled. It's probably the most common uh, sushi that you find, and we'll show you how easy it really is. What we need is a sushi mat that you can get at any Asian grocery store. We have our seaweed that we lightly toasted. We're going to place that on the mat. Now the ingredients that go into the sushi are the rice, we have some carrots, cucumbers, and this one we're going to use with a little yellowfin tuna. The rice is basically short grain Japanese rice. Get any really high quality short grain rice and cook it according to the instructions on the package. Uh, the best thing to do is cook it in a steamer, but you can boil it. And what we do is we take the rice once it's been cooked and you always want to make fresh rice. And we add a little bit of uh, mirin, basically, or you can make your own, a little rice vinegar, a little uh, sugar, a little salt. And we toss that into the rice to give the rice some flavor. You don't want to put too much, but you want the rice to remain sticky. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need water. Basically, you dip your fingers in the water so that it works well. Before you use the seaweed, the nori, you basically you want to pass it over a flame and lightly toast it. If you don't do this, what happens is the nori comes out kind of chewy. So we just pass it a few times over the flame. Don't burn it. And don't worry if you get a couple holes in it, that's all right. But just pass it over there until it's, you'll see it, it starts to wrinkle up. Okay? And now when we use it in our sushi, it won't be, it won't be chewy. So we place our, our seaweed here. We're going to put our rice and spread it out on our seaweed. You see it's already sticking to my hands. Try to kind of spread it out flat and even. And we go up and we leave about a quarter of the seaweed open. A little bit down here. Okay, make sure it's nice and flat. Try to keep it even. Rinse our hands here. Now, I've got a little wasabi here that I'm going to just rub lightly on the tuna. What would sushi be without wasabi? Spread our cucumber. A little bit of carrot. Try to keep it even. Okay. And our tuna. Okay. Now here comes the tricky part. It's not really that complicated though. We're going to roll. So we take the mat and we roll it over. We hold everything in place. We just roll it over and squeeze it together as much as we possibly can. Make it nice and tight. Okay? Notice I have the piece of seaweed sticking out. Now take this seaweed that doesn't have the rice and basically wet it lightly. Okay, then you roll it over again, pull it back, and always trying to keep it tight. Okay, roll it over one more time, and then there you have your norimaki. Very simple. Take it and cut it. Presented on our platter here. We have our soy sauce that we've added a little uh, wasabi into. We'll just place our nori here, nori maki.
piece of back here. Okay. I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of pickled ginger. All right, to finish, we're just going to garnish it with a little bit of vegetable salad. I have basically thin strips of carrot and cucumber. You can use daikon radish. And what makes it look nice is you take these thin strips and you let them sit in ice water for a little bit. Just before you use them, then you take them out of the ice water and that crisp makes them nice and crispy. So it's carrot, cucumber. I put a little bit of green onion in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of the, uh, the mirin. Just toss that lightly. And then we're going to set that right on the plate here. And you have your norimaki.